Hey everyone, it's Onglor. Welcome to the video. Glad to have you here. Today we'll be taking a look at some more information that was dropped about Skyrim Anniversary Edition. So, let's get started. I actually recommend that you guys watch the video that is on the site because I did watch it and it showed some pretty interesting things. Things I was excited about and some I was actually curious. So, let's get started and see what they have to tell us. Alright, if you already own Skyrim Special Edition, you'll be getting four of the creation content for free. The Saints and Seducers was actually pretty good because I bought this DLC a while back and I think it was around $20 because it was like one of their biggest ones. It comes with some pretty cool quests, some weapons, armors, enemies. So there's quite a few things to do with this, you know, uh, creation club. The Rare Kuros was... It added some alchemy ingredients and some arrows and I think a few poison things. So this was part of a bundle for something else. And I just, you know, have, I got it. It came with it. And it's, it's pretty cool to have. The survival mode, I remember it being free when it first came out. That That's something I really wouldn't pay money for because it seemed to be like very basic in my opinion. And I'm wondering if they did any tweaks to it. So I'm going to find out when the anniversary edition drops fishing is the big topic of discussion so um we just found out with fishing of course you'll be able to catch your meals and, and make it also you can either keep them as trophies or put them in your aquarium which is really cool i don't know why whenever it comes to fishing in games i've really always enjoyed it it's just something i've always liked personally and i'm really looking forward to doing this now the only thing i'm really wondering is when it comes to fishing is there going to be different types of baits for different areas, you know, such as if you want to go fishing in a pond, a river, a lake. So I'm really hoping it's just not one bait for all. Hopefully there's a couple different ones. So let's get down to the nitty gritty now. So as we just talked about, the four above creations will be made for free for owners of Skyrim Special Edition. So make sure you own Special Edition because... I don't know if they're going to give it away for free if you buy it after the fact. You know how Bethesda works. So if you're thinking about getting special edition, you should probably pick it up now. So this will be, well, here's the thing that really caught my attention. So um, available for purchase November 11th Skyrim Anniversary Edition features the complete Skyrim uh, Special Edition plus all previously released Creation Club uh, creations for the game. Yes, that includes the four for free so this is going to be available for purchase and i i just wish they would tell us the price because i'm wondering how much they're going to charge for all this and especially for somebody like me who already owns most of the creation stuff you know i there's only a handful that i don't have so it's just going to be interesting to see what happens and i just really want to see the price tag on it so i'm going to be getting it and seeing what happens all right so there's also going to be some new creation stuff added and a couple of things really caught my eye such as quests. There's going to be Ghosts of the Tribunal which you earn over a dozen new weapons, armors and previously featured in Morrowind. So I'm actually re really looking to see that. While the cause has players encounter the Mythic Dawn who aim to form a new Oblivion Gate. So that really caught my attention as well. There will be brand new enemies, locations, and weapons. And this seems really cool. Not to mention a conjurable Daedric horse. So how cool is that? That will be releasing with the Anniversary Edition as well. So it's just really interesting to see all of this. And I was wondering if they're going to make this available at all for people. But down here it says purchase the Anniversary Upgrade. So as we all know, you know, it, it, we're definitely going to pay for this. And snag all those creations in one convenient package at a great value. Players may also purchase these creations individually upon release if they choose so. So it, that part caught me as well. So it seems like even, you know, you'll be able to get them if you want to pay for them, like no matter what. All right. So in November, they're also adjusting the way Creation Club quests are you know to be had um because they said that they were aware that new players found it rushed in uh if they create a new character they found it to be a little bit overwhelming that you got all those quests at once i remember actually 
One of the most common questions I was asked in my videos when it came to Creation Club, armor, quests, etc. is like, where's the quest? How come I don't get it? It seems like a lot of people just have difficulty even receiving the quest. What I did personally was, if I was to do a new playthrough, and I got a couple of Creation Club, you know, whatever items, I would just install them one by one, complete them, and then install the next one, because to me, it... It seemed easier that way. I remember actually installing them all at once and was just bombarded with a bunch of quests. So that's what I did. I just simply installed them one by one and that took care of that. All right. So what's going to be pretty cool too is there's going to be next gen optimizations coming out for the PS5, Xbox Series XS, etc. So I don't own a console. I don't plan on getting one, but I really want to see what it looks like. So I'm definitely be checking out some videos to see what it looks like because I'm just really curious to see what the environment and everything's going to look like. And also, this is pretty cool. On November 11th at 2 p.m. ET, they'll be featuring the London Symphony Orchestra and the London Voices. So it's going to be like a big, huge release. They're making a big deal out of it, which isn't too bad. I'm actually looking forward to seeing that myself because... I've always liked symphonies and you know it's going to be very well done because Bethesda has the money to do it. So it's going to be interesting to see. And just as a quick overview here, don't forget if you own special dish, you're going to get all these four for free. And they're all pretty good. I mean, I just really hope that they've done something different to the survival mode. And don't forget to check out the video because when I saw some of the new quests coming up, I got pretty excited. And then with all the new content coming, I was just wondering, it just makes me wonder with the way they water things, what exactly is going to be included? Because it said, you know, X amount of, you know, I believe the way they watered it was, you know, when it came to the creation stuff, you know, over 500 stuff, which doesn't mean like 500 DLCs, it's like 500 items or whatever. So I'm just really looking forward to getting my hands on this upgrade edition you know anniversary and see what exactly this is all about because i've been thinking about it a lot it took me quite a while to get my skyrim looking the way i want it testing all the mods seeing what's working together and it's in a really good place right now so i'm gonna bypass all that work and go through the anniversary edition and then just use a lot of mods that don't involve skse because i do want to experience this new content and I do want to make videos on it and share it with you guys and just see what this whole anniversary edition is about. And I'm thinking if it's really, you know, not worth it overall, I can probably just downgrade and go back to, you know, just good old special edition. I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it, but I do have everything backed up and ready to go. And if you guys are wondering the same thing, if you should get this uh, anniversary edition, just in my previous video I have I show people how to back up their game just in case something happens so if you're a little concerned just make sure to back up all of your stuff and you know if you don't like it then you know just go back to special edition all right guys I would like to hear are you excited about the anniversary edition are you looking forward to these creations being free how do you feel about the price tag that is unmentioned that only thing that worries me is like why don't you guys tell us the price now you know that just kind of really triggers me. It's like, why can't you just tell me now? It's to be like, what, 20, 30, 40 bucks? So I would love to know how you guys feel about all this. All right, that is the end of the video. I really want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.